Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to another episode of Hearts of Arm 4 Modern Day the British Empire. Last episode, I made a mistake. And you were sure to let me know about this. So this region right here, called Thailand, um, you really, really, really want them to be independent. I was thinking, well, what, whatever, whatever, but yeah. You really want them to be independent. And checking, well, the image I have right here. It is very much true, they should be independent, so thank you for that. Just notify me if I do any more wrongs. So we have a nice independent puppet right here, and let's see. What's our current plan? We are just fighting against two nations, uh, Kenya and... Uh, Tarzan... <laughs> Tarzania. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna bring them down. Right? Right? We're just gonna bring them down? Come on, Daniel, stop pressing on options. Uh, yes, we're just gonna bring them down instantly. Um, Uganda? Really? You're part of... Oh, come on. Yeah, I will have to declare war again against the Democratic Republic of Congo. I'm pretty sure this province shouldn't really be belonging to you, but should now, well, belong to me then. Uh, these two nations were free. God damn it, double checking. Yeah, we sh oh, we are owning the province directly over them. No, we shouldn't uh, take this. So, yeah, this is Uganda. <laughs> what the hell? The province is named Uganda. So, yeah, we, we are not... Well, we can... we can Stop, Daniel. We don't have to de declare war against them. That's what I wanted to say. Cool. Anyway, um, anything else we're doing right now? We are building up our nation a bit more. Hong Kong. All right, we're building a bunch of useless stuff in Hong Kong. So, we will bring down your level of independence and then we just go into annex you let's see hong kong where are you right here so mine 600 more points before i can really demote you and annex that territory will the building some kind of building be enough maybe well we'll see how many days before a major islamic rally all right Another 50 days before this war happens, and another 100 days before that war. All right, cool. Uh, modified government. Disarm. All right, we we went down to disarm nation just because well the factory bonus and that we really we still have nine million manpower. Uh, war economy. Could we go up? No, we can't go up to total mobilization. That would be just too awesome. Uh, we have a bunch of troops right here. Why are you coming back? Oh, garrison orders. Alright, you're moving back and forward since I split you up into two 60 stacks. So, um... Wait, I have a bunch of troops right here. 20 divisions. That I've been calling garrison right now. That can't be right. You should be jumping to the garrison stack and you should be one of the offensive ones. Yeah, definitely. So what should you do? What should be your new conquest? I'm pretty sure I should, I'm supposed to own, yeah, I'm supposed to own this one. And this could be my, well, one-way ticket into America. We take this one, then start doing naval missions from here. Okay, let's see, let's see if I have a spare navy somewhere. Well, no, not here, no, oh, this one. Uh, you can just stop whatever with whatever you're doing and your order should be to well From this to well this I guess now. Let's actually just make it clear that one But I'm probably gonna have to well switch you around a tiny bit uh, Let's split you in half. Let's select this part. Let's give you a commander God damn it. It's kind of sad that all images have disappeared and this should hopefully be enough uh, just fire war. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, that won't end any well. Let's finish these two wars and then start with the justification to the other side of the well, continent. Let's go from the top right here to Rana, and that should hopefully be enough. Let's see. We have total superiority during that entire area. Uh, we should have as soon as this other fleet appears. Very good. Let's see. We are building more ships, but are building them in any good area? Um, East Anglia. Alright, we are only deployed them right here. 
as like um extra army when it, or extra just an extra fleet now and then to be deployed whenever I want to and why are none being because we don't have enough steel we don't even have close to enough steel right I don't want to trade with Empire of China because you become more independent that way oh right um, yeah yeah let's trade with Russia cool you should get right here and let's say just that um, why are you assigned to the British Empire fleet you all should be deployed right here uh, United Kingdom fleet no right here East Anglia stockpiling correct correct and everyone else is just deploying right here very good and how's our stock parts looking still mechanized being quite a bit of a trouble um, I'm pretty sure we assigned way too so many factories to it yeah mechanized 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 and we're still having trouble filling everything sure they have some well backlog to work with but come on a bit quicker and uh, what the hell are you doing no I don't want this division take it back another 20 days very good do we need a fleet no we don't need a fleet right there it should just be basically walking in still yeah you still have a very good amount of mechanized yeah 500 out of 600 basically so we lo are losing a tiny bit right there but not a lot we can go in there whenever we want to 66 nukes yeah should we assign an air force right there uh, we have 700 planes right here let's cancel both of them and let's just find right here always good to just have some airplanes just in case actually 500 will be more than enough will take some time to arrive but yeah well out of time and here's one more motorized from France no I do not want it I definitely do not want it Greater London area 600 planes and uh, that's not my planes oh available planes in reserve yeah that I know definitely so another couple of days before we declare war against Kenya otherwise we are still just well waiting building up our nation making sure that the British Empire are is restored as quickly as possible two more days one and war declare war go conservative yeah this might bite me in the ass and have me go to war with a larger nation but maybe not social liberal all oh, right the European entente what the European entente with who else of course of course you are my main enemy Liechtenstein all right where's my power oh right I don't have any power troopers hello power troopers I need you I need you to be deployed right there and Liechtenstein has joined the war god damn it <sighs> That's a tiny bit more worrisome. Really? The Germans joining? Oh crap. Fra oh no, no. France can't join. Because we already killed them. But Italy may join. Alright. Um, hello, extra fleet. Do you have a fleet? Well, yes you have. But not as big as mine. So, um, you are going to be the ones that are going in right here. And let's say grabbing that. And while you, my spare fleet... You should be going in like this. And let's see a random extra province right there. And let's see, time to prepare invasion. So um, that's kind of interesting actually. So you 20 divisions, no you're not going right there. You're going into Germany. Uh, you 5, are. you're going to basically be split up. I want 5 divisions right there. I Actually no, you are specialized for this. So you are not going to avoid any ports or anything. You should go into the ports. Uh, right there. So please go. And you five. You are going from this province to... Actually, it should have been the other way around. Hmm. Okay, then let's grab that one instead. So, well, a bit further away here. A bit quicker right here. And then you ten tanks. 
you are gonna go from here to the province in between. Yeah, cool. That should basically be it. Uh, we are trying to, well, basically defend our island and crush the German fleet. Let's see, we're losing some destroyers, a submarine, some light cruisers, but we are basically winning the naval battle by far. Yeah, that's basically the entire German fleet, and let's just eradicate it a tiny bit more. Thank you. All right, I never assigned anything right here. Let's assign him on fighter duty, so we actually have the advantage. Otherwise, well, what's the point of assigning, assigning um, well, anything if we're not actually going to use them? Let's get up here and let's split you up right here. Come on. So Germany, 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 Germany. How should I defeat you? A nice naval invasion, some airplanes bombarding, a couple of nukes might be necessary, but we'll see. So U14, you are gonna get a new assignment, which is basically get up right here. And you are also gonna do a naval invasion from here to, uh, I don't know, this area. So get up there. Uh, just make sure you don't have any plants right here. Uh, to make very sure, let's delete all plants you have by using, well, the right clicking the delete key. And from here, actually, no, you can just go from here since you are on your own battle plan. From there to this moment. Cool, let's get up there. Uh, you 19 that are right here, you're gonna finish off this, and then we're gonna see if we're gonna do the same thing with you. Uh, please don't be active anymore. Be assigned right here, Tarsinia needs to be brought down and well then Germany. How many divisions do you have? Ooh, that's actually quite a lot. 75 to 90 military factories too. And the big question is was there any kind of big war with them? I'm not oh right, I'm not called in France. So you can't actually go in right here. Nice. Otherwise we would be kinda screwed. Oh, actually, you 14 your only tank divisions. Let's delete your current plan, and you can be assigned right here. Uh, let's, yeah, you're going right there. Very good. So we're gonna have a new line of Maginot, a new Maginot line. Um, no, please, everyone. That's where's port? I can't see the port symbol. Okay, then go in right here. So everyone moves. Yeah, cool. And let's see, reach its slot. We need to continue right here. No, we can't. We can't continue right there. So let's do field hospital. So attacking them from here and well from the north at the same time should be enough to bring you down. But as a safety precaution, let's just also destroy their entire air force. You are well not as good as me. We have a slight slight advantage. <laughs> <laughs> I was I thought we would have a massive advantage, but apparently it's slight. Uh, let's see if we can add some more fighters to this mix. Currently we're producing you know, two lines of fighters. Yeah, I think a third one would be pretty good to have. Actually, are you any upgraded? Let's double check. Um, th these fighters are the next one I'm gonna have for a very very long time actually not that very very long time so we should probably upgrade you whenever we have you yeah let's wait with that I was thinking use the experience and let's see the boats right the boats missile cruiser level 2 or light cruiser level yeah we need to make a general upgrade of all our boats and then use the experience to upgrade I don't know I think the missile cruisers and maybe the destroyers just have a slight bonus right there in uh, range like, range in naval combat is everything, I think, at least. So, yeah, basically the range they can shoot. So, yeah, if I can manage to, well, destroy the entire fleet before, well, any one of them can shoot, then I'm done. They can't do any damage to me, so it doesn't matter how much armor or how little armor I have. Uh, progressive. You can do another weird faction. Not here, not there. China is with me. Yeah, that feels kind of nice. Just to have the entire China as well under me. I could also request forces from you. How many divisions could I steal? Ooh, 59 divisions. Yeah, we're gonna avoid that for now at least. If we really are critical and in critical need of more forces, then we will. But not now. So another three days before we do this. Why I'm waiting is, well, hopefully. 
wh why I'm not waiting with this war is, well, I'm hopefully hoping that they will join the other war too, and not create their own faction. Just, just accept. Cool, cool. Good, European Entente. So I don't have to worry about them creating another faction with another major nation like Italy or someone. Italy might still join. Or should we take this opportunity to bring down Italy too? Basically bring down the entire Europe under the British Empire. Only as puppets of course, but still. Make you fall. Come on. Increase in combat width, attack from self direction to 160 combat width, and bye bye. Sure, we're at 20 over the combat width currently in combat, but well, it's fine. And there you go. Thank you. So, you 19 units. Let's deal with Italy at, Italy at the same time. Uh, let's justify a war goal against you. That might be necessary. Let's see. Where else can we now build any factories? No, not there, not there. We don't own this. God damn it, there's so little area we actually own that we haven't filled filled with different units. Um, I guess I can always build a couple of things at France. Just let them be, well, bigger. So I can use you later for wars against the United States. Oh, wait, wait, what I really can use. Uh, let's ignore all of this that are currently deployed. Come on. Wait, wasn't that mine? No, no, apparently not. So, um, let's deploy wherever we can. More, in, well, more naval bases. And you should have top priority. The larger navy you have, the better for me. Then I don't have to worry about any weird naval invasions. Since, well, United States and Canada still has a decent fleet. And I would rather, well, I'd rather have them not have a decent fleet than them having a decent fleet. And let's see, how are you doing my, well, half-decent fleet now? Uh, you are assigned to, oh, wait, Southern England? No, no, that's was the one that actually is produced now and then. Okay, you are decent, you have basically lost all your support, unfortunately. Still, Germany doesn't have anything left, so it should be fine. Uh, unassigned divisions? Really? You two? No. Hong Kong, how far are you along from being annexed? Uh, where are you? I can't find you right now. Oh, here. 300 more points. Am I still building stuff at your place? No, I'm not. I completely filled up everything. Or? Yes, I have. So I will just have to send you lend lease. Until you, well, understand that joining the British Empire fully is better. Well, for only you and no one else. Uh, wait, wait, wait. How many points did you have left? 300 something. Oh yeah, 380. So I should send a tiny bit more. Three eighty, Yeah, let's say 550. Just in case they gain some more from something else. Just fine right here, very good. Then bringing down Vatican City and everyone else. Oh, actually, that might have been advantageous. If we just justified against Vatican City instead of Italy, then Italy would join and we would get two flies in one. Well, two flies in one. Uh, 23 days, yeah, we're throwing them away, but whatever. 20, we lost 23, 23 days. Not that harsh. Not that big of a deal. Cool, um, more tank divisions please, I would very much like some. Here are six divisions, please assign right here. Very good, 20, 20, 19. Why are you only 19? Hmm, some reason, whatever. Uh, yeah, I think we're pretty much done for the invasion. We have planned, we have troops everywhere. Actually, where the hell are you? Oh yeah, you are very slow to come. But that would be still a while before we actually do something. Uh, let's see, I think I will first call France in. Have you attacked this front line? And just, well, basically hold on for a while. Oh, right, I never assigned an air force. Uh, let's sure, let's make sure that we actually have one. 1,000 planes. Actually, that's pretty much all I want. I want you assigned right here. 
Um, we have probably stolen some tackle bombers or something. Let's see here, generation four attackers. All right, we need a better air base then. Actually, we can just borrow some from Sweden. Oh, we already have some stuff right here. Oh, that's nice. H how did I miss it before when I looked for stuff to remove? Ah, allied bases. Yeah, we have a couple more places then. Gonda. Oh, wait, wait. Yeah, you are no longer needed right there. Uh, you are a tiny bit too full right here. We can actually remove the three bombers right there. Actually, we can remove both of you. And otherwise, we're doing quite fine. Cool. Then we have our close air support that we wanted. And uh, let's even increase that a tiny bit by, well, 900. 400 more planes. Ah, let's remove one. Actually, let's fix that one to a solid 300. Thank you. Everyone assigned right here, everyone ready. We're losing some from accidents. Uh, well, some from accidents, a ton from accidents. That's more like it. And uh, let's see. Yeah, everyone is good, ready. You have arrived, yes. So let's see. This division, please charge in. God, you tanks is way too quick. I was hoping that my marines would still be... Actually, you will still arrive a bit faster. Or you will arrive at the same time as the first marines. Uh, that might be a tiny bit worrisome, but I think we will be alright. Let's see what else can we pick right here. That isn't way ahead of time. Uh, I don't think we have anything actually. 600 days, 700 days. Artillery, almost fully done. Actually fully done in the ones that matter. Uh, Alright, let's begin with our naval upgrade. This war is level 4, missile cruisers level 3. Oh right, we have 6 tanks right here. NATO, NATO, NATO. Oh, was this... A war against NATO I was planning? I don't remember. I don't actually remember why I had six divisions and NATO, NATO, NATO clan. I was planning to declare war against NATO? Why the hell was I planning to invade NATO? Well, well, NATO right now at least. That's stupid. Alright, you guys. Wait, Poland is with you? No? Why is Polish troops? Oh, volunteers. No? Or am I just crazy? Didn't I see Polish troops here? And I just... Yeah, for some reason I saw Polish troops right there, but I can't find right now. Oh, please remove that unit. You're... In... You're out of your... Out of your nice private zone. You should be nice and split. And right now we can just start pushing. Because that's what I need to do. So U-20 divisions landed right here without any problem, I think. I don't see any units and I don't see you being damaged, anything. So U-20 divisions, everyone right here. Go in and grab this. And you should be very, very, very aggressive in doing it. Take this and then go down. Cool. No problem. Oh, that was a pretty cool picture. Why did I scroll out? Uh, let's increase this, well, offensive line to something more. Like that. And expeditionary forces. No, I don't want any expeditionary forces. All I want is you to push in and bring down Germany as quickly as possible. And we have complete superiority right here, which means... Let's see, split you up in half and assign you right here. And actually you 300 fighters too. Sure, we don't have superiority anymore right here, but we have split them up and should get a nice superiority everywhere right now. Um, you, why are you not pushing? Push more. Yeah, see, it's fine. We just got be very aggressive. And Berlin, you should once again fall beneath the boots of the British Empire. So I'm not 100% sure actually if we own anything. People have been saying that we once owned something from well, Germany, and I'm not really sure, and I can't find anything on, well, my picture that I um, had as reference point, so if I ever owned anything from the, from Germany, I really want you to tell me, so I can, well, make sure I grab it, or, or well, just link a picture, or something like that. Uh, let's see, you're brought down right here, very good. We can lower autonomy on someone, 
please say that that's Hong Kong. Yes, integrate Hong. No, no, it's not. Bourbon France can be reduced to annexed. Oh, really? Um, no, we're not gonna annex you. Then we just have to release you right away again. Or should that be the only way I'm allowed to do stuff? They are puppets until I can annex them the normal way. Then they are part of the British Empire again. Hmm, maybe that could be something. What do you think? So, sh should I be allowed to annex nations that we didn't really own if I do it by the annex feature in game or by reducing their puppet status to, well, annex? Uh, or should I just leave them as they are right now? So, who's currently in this war? All oh, right, Liechtenstein. You bastards! I think we'll just go straight in here, bring down, uh, bring down Switzerland, and Liechtenstein with you. Yeah, I think that's the easiest way. So, you twenty-four divisions, you should prepare for your next offensive action. Once again, let's see if this works. Actually, you ten armor divisions. Let's just not have you right there. Uh, let's just assign you, assign, unassign you completely and then just tell you to move right there instead. Otherwise you will arrive faster and that would be kind of bad. Right, cool. Everyone is waiting. No, no expedition forces please. Unassigned division. What? Where? That's a tank from France. That could have been nice, but no. I wonder what, what the hell that happens. Why we suddenly get some more... Weird. Anyway. Oh, wait. If I never finish this war, then I would technically have the factories from Germany. But then I have to deal with resistance. Never mind. We will finish this war. Uh, let's just increase this one in the meantime to a couple more. Very good. And um, we have a bunch more extra factories. So let's just sign them on mechanized, maybe. Let's double check. What are we currently missing? Come on. Now uh, we're still missing mechanized. God damn it! And medium tank, main battle tanks are still looking fine. Have we switched out everything right now? Yes, we did. That's why we've been losing so much for a while. Uh, organization still over forty. Cool. Then let's just add one more rocket artillery because that increases our soft attack by eighty. Very nice. Uh, Italy. How long before the war against you? Let's check with Vatican City. Another 30 days, very good. Um, but I don't have very much time once again. And I will have to end this episode a bit early and having it a bit short. But meanwhile, you can decide on two things. Anything from Germany, yes, no. And am I allowed to annex nations using the annex feature from in-game? Or should you just leave them be as they are? I'm kind of fine with actually leaving them be. Yeah, I would probably leave them be, by the way. Yeah, no, no. I will restore the British Empire as it was at its fullest and some additional stuff. So yeah, no annexing, no annexing. But anyway, anything from Germany, yes, no. Um, yeah, thank you all for joining me for this episode. Like, comment, and subscribe and all that stuff. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye and bye.